Welcome to Hive AV. This tutorial will review devices, configuring, and connecting. Basically, we'll add four Hall technology uh, devices. Um, we'll add the HT um, Odyssey, uh, the MC200, and, <clears throat> and the um, Apollo uh, Room Technology Kit. Let's begin um, with our panel. I have already put it into factory reset mode just so we can have a fresh, clean start. And you can get to that by going to settings and database and factory reset. Um, if you had data you wanted it to back up first, just do that, do a factory reset, and then later you can do a restore if you want. All right, let's begin. Um, we'll, we'll start with uh, under audio. We'll go. We'll, we'll add our uh, HT Odyssey. Okay, and adding the IP address, I am able to just hit save, and that will enable uh, a little what what we call our tech pages down here. And, and they're tech pages because they're going to have more control than what's going to be on the end user interface. And these pages are really designed for the AV uh, tech or the room technology manager um, and not really the kind of control you would want for the end user uh, who might break things uh, if you give them uh, things that are, you know, change the configuration of, of a unit. So that's uh, the 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 Odyssey is a uh, speakerphone. Just so you know, uh, it uh, it's a speakerphone, and um, it, if you navigate, it has a web page uh, that you can go into, and you can do a number of different settings. Part of what makes it great is you can um, program uh, the the power on and off button for RS232, and it has auto on and off, and it also has a way to trigger CC as well. And all those things you can also do inside of Hive. So Hive utilizes all, all, all of those uh, all those functions. Next, let's go to switchers and we'll add our MC200. And you'll, you'll notice here it's port 80. Um, and port 80, just so you know, is, is going to uh, it, it means that it, it's controlling it over WebSocket. And a lot of our drivers inside of Hive do that. And the only difference is that our published API is 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 what uh, you see in the manual, and that's usually like Telnet or TCP IP. And then uh, and then WebSocket is is literally the the actual web page. And and we're we're using commands and controlling things through that that interface almost as if it was a web connection so it's a little bit different um, but it gives us a, a better control and in a lot of ways and, and uh, as far as connections and stuff like that and here the, this is the mc200 page so so you know it's a presentation switcher you have the ability to, to route video uh, to, to four different windows, and then you have different layouts and stuff like that. And th this is what the web page looks like. Um, and uh, here, if, if I wanted to, I could change these labels. You know, I could make this A, I can make this uh, N1 or HMI1, who, who knows? I just kind of wanted to show that you can, you can uh, customize it just a little bit. And here's our tech page right here. And you can see, uh, you know, to in order to, uh, to to change, you know, what's being seen in a window, you 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 uh, drag and drop uh, the inputs to uh, any one of the, the outputs, and you can change the layout by, with this little drop down, and you can decide to either go with mirrored or independent. And independent is going to give you two different displays, uh, that uh, two different outputs all together, and essentially turns it into a matrix switcher. It's it's really really great. Great. <clears throat> so let's uh, take a, a look at our next uh, device under switchers. We'll add our room technology kit, uh, the TRK1 Apollo, as better known. Um, 
And this is a, a, a kit that's really designed for the education space. And uh, it comes with a keypad. Um, so the main reason you would want to have a touch panel with, with the TRK-1 which is a you know is a control system all in itself and you know a, a robust extender and switcher um the reason why you'd want the a touch panel is if you had cameras to control or um other other types of switching that needs to happen or you need to uh create complex uh uh, uh presets um you know for 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 the space um so so there is still a use uh, for the TRK-1, even even uh, though it has a, a really uh, good uh, keypad that's also customizable now as well. And uh, just so you know, these these are also, um, you know, editable. So you, you can edit these and customize this this little interface. And, and you can see here, um, when I go to uh, the TRK-1, we have our, our little switching mechanism over here and we have our volume on the on the left. And, and uh, this volume level is actually controlling uh, so that, that you can kind of uh, see. Uh, here, here's our Apollo Room Technology Kit. Uh, and it's, it's adjusting this HDMI uh, level right now, right? And, and that, that's what you see when, when you get there. Um, if you navigate to uh, this, this device uh, web uh, page, uh, yeah, you can you can go in and you can make a lot of different uh, changes. Uh, we recently just updated uh, the keypad, so you can customize all, all the all the buttons, um, and uh, that that's a great new feature set um, as well. Next, let's configure our uh, 1080p TZ camera. Now, this this camera. Um, you're able to add multiple uh, of these, and and it 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 um it is a Visca camera, and Visca is a uh, camera control protocol. I believe it was uh, from from Sony, um, so it does use that as, as part of its control. Um, but be aware that that the type of control that uh, we're utilizing here in Hive for, for this device as well is also WebSocket, and you know so it's it's controlling uh, the it's it's uh, web pages basically. And you can see uh, from here there there's a uh, uh, you can you can see me. Hi. <laughs> This is where you have uh, control over the auto tracking, and um, you can set the auto tracking mode and configure that. You can set various different types uh, of things here. Um, you know, reboot the device, um, and um, a lot of, of this is also going to be available here as well. So you can see when we when we go to our, our camera page, uh, we we can zoom, we can focus, we can uh, pan, tilt, and zoom obviously PTZ, and it's a real uh, pan t t uh, tilt zoom camera, not a digital one. Um, and you can set presets here. All right, pre pressing the save button, you move the camera to where you need it to be, press save, it'll save your preset. To recall preset, just press these. Um, and, and then here you can set the auto tracking mode and the presenter mode, it'll, it'll track, uh, you know, movement of a, of a, of a, a body. <laughs> and then, uh, the other mode, you set up little zones that, uh, can find the space of, of the camera's zoom. So very, very useful stuff. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to go into activities too much, but I'll, I'll just quickly just touch on it just so we have a, a, a couple of, of the settings. Um, coming in here, you can add uh, some of those devices we just added. I'm going to add the Odyssey because it, it, it's, it is uh, a, a re, you know, solely an a audio device. We are not really doing any switching with it. Uh, so at the end user level, uh, we're not going to see anything except for those audio controls. Uh, for power, let's, we'll, we'll use Odyssey as well, right? Because Odyssey has uh, CEC triggers for on and off. Right? Look at that. I'm going to simply do that and do this. Uh, oh, that wasn't what I was supposed to do. <laughs> All right. And now we have our little little CC triggers for on and off, and we don't really need to do any presets. But um, if we wanted to, we could add a preset. All right. So now we have our devices connected. We 
we, we went through and, and looked at all the test tech pages. And now I'm going to press the Hive AV button, which will take us to the end user interface. And this, the, the EU, <laughs> if you want to call it that. And here we are. And now if I press the power button on, then my, my display is turning on right now that's connected to the Odyssey. And uh, through that CC trigger, um, I could do some switching here. You know, bump, bump, bump. Um, if I want to do switching on, on my TRK1, I have it right here. You know, and if I want to adjust the volume, I can I can do it here or there. And if I need to mic, mute the mic, I just press this, unmute it, press it again, <laughs> and then I, I can shut everything down. And this panel is ready for the end user. Thank you for your time.